Hello, this is Dr. Vicki Peterson. I want to talk to you today about the gut-brain connection. It can seem like they're far away from each other and how are they connected, uh, but indeed they are. If you've ever been under a lot of stress and your stomach was in a knot or you had to run to the bathroom because of stress, you've witnessed the gut-brain connection. When I went to school, there were two misnomers about the brain. One was that uh, the number of brain cells you had basically increased till the age of you know 20 ish and then after that the big decline started fortunately that was wrong and the other aspect of the brain we learned about was something called the blood brain barrier and this was a barrier that was designed to protect the brain from toxins and chemicals getting past that barrier and it was to protect that very important brain unfortunately that blood brain barrier is now being seen to be breached it's not any more an effective barrier and this is being linked to our diet chemicals pesticides drugs that um, basically assault us day in and day out so uh, you've heard me speak about the leaky gut and now they're saying we have a leaky brain because these barriers uh, the barrier to protect um, bad things from leaving your gut and getting into your bloodstream is akin to the barrier that's protecting the brain. So it's not surprising that the same problems causing the leaky gut are also causing a leaky brain. There's been some really excellent research looking at how to best protect the brain um, and one is to make sure your microbiome or all those 100 trillion lovely uh, bacteria and organisms that you have in your gut are nice and healthy and happy and because what they do your microbiome when they are healthy and happy is that they reduce inflammation and what we are suffering from in this country that's creating all of our degenerative disease including uh, brain problems like Alzheimer's stroke and um, dementia, Parkinson's, these major diseases we're trying not to get of our brain, they are also linked to inflammation. So some key studies that um, have been done, one was on children with attention, and what they found were the children that had the most fiber in their diet, and P.S., 97% of Americans do not get enough fiber in our diets. Uh, the children that had the highest amount of fiber um, had the best attention. They were able to um, stay on task despite uh, someone trying to uh, get their attention. And um, so this was an interesting study and the children with the lowest fiber in their diet had the worst attention. And considering 6.5 million children in this country have been diagnosed with ADHD, two-thirds of them are put on medication. Something we see here at the clinic is our natural program is able to often get these children off their medication. Their attention is back to normal and they don't, they don't require medication. And one of the major things we do is change their diet and increase the health of their gut. Another study very recently looked at uh, diet sweeteners and zero calorie sweeteners and uh, people drinking soft drinks was the specific study. And what they found was that um, it was just one a day was enough to increase stroke risk uh, two and a half times. It increased both Alzheimer's and Parkinson's risk three times it increased your risk for type 2 diabetes and obesity. We've known that for a long time. And when you have type 2 diabetes, you're at four times the risk of dementia. So these diet sweeteners, which are known to really hit the microbiome, those good bacteria, really hard and uh, create a lot of imbalance in that microbiome, there you have a link of a negative associated with increased uh, brain risk. So you've got the positive of the fiber and you've got the negative of the diet sweeteners. I'm going to look at my notes real quick and see what I'm missing. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> That's what I wanted to tell you about today. I did, um, I just completed a, a more uh, intensive blog on this very topic, so you can visit our website, rootcausemedicalclinic.com. Give that a look, and I go into 
specifically what I recommend uh, beyond increasing fiber and staying away from diet sweeteners, what you can do to really increase your brain health. And this is very critical because we're seeing these diseases more and more, younger and younger in our population, and it really is reversible and preventable. So if your health is not the way you want it to be, I am here to help you. Please reach out for a free phone consultation. Give us a call at 408-733-0400. Here at Root Cause Medical Clinic, we reverse biological aging. Pretty exciting stuff. And uh, we help the world's busiest people regain, retain, and reclaim their health, energy, and resilience. We would love to help you. I hope this was informative. Please share it with others, and I'll see you soon.